Ladies and gentlemen, that dames y caballeros, when I was 16 years old, I made a huge discovery about money. And this discovery nearly doubled my pay. And it was so easy. And it was so simple, but it felt like a secret, like something that other people couldn't seem to understand. And this was my discovery. If you don't waste money, your money will go a lot further. I know. It's so simple, but I realize that money isn't this random thing that we have no control over, that money isn't this evil tool that only benefits a handful of people, but money is just basic math. And I discovered that if you make intentional decisions to never waste a single dollar, then you'll have a lot more money to do what you want to do in life. And this simple discovery changed my life. And although it's so simple, most people don't understand it. Most people don't understand that they're having so many financial problems, not because of the lack of money, but because of wasteful spending. And if people understood what wasteful spending is and how to cut it out of their lives, it would be like getting a 25 to 50% pay increase. So in this video, I want to talk about wasteful spending and how to get the most out of every single dollar because we don't always have control over how much money we make, but we do have control over how much money we spend. And if you can learn how to be less wasteful with your spending, you will have more money to do what you want in life. And I can guarantee you that it will change your life. So here are five steps to stop wasteful spending and enjoy life. Step one, understand what real wasteful spending is. As a frugal minimalist, ladies and gentlemen, I don't believe in depriving yourself and not spending money because I think that is not a sustainable way to live. Instead, my frugal motto is cut waste, not spending. It's important to know that wasteful spending isn't spending money on things you don't need. No, just because you don't need something doesn't mean it's a waste. Wasteful spending is spending money with no logic. Wasteful spending is when you spend money in irrational ways on things that don't bring any value to your life. Now, in order to make this more clear, let me explain the difference between non-wasteful spending and wasteful spending. Buying snacks isn't wasteful spending, but buying snacks at the gas station for two times the price is wasteful spending. Eating at a restaurant isn't wasteful spending, but going through the drive through multiple times a week is wasteful spending. Buying towels at Target isn't wasteful spending, but buying towels on impulse when you already have enough towels is wasteful spending. There's a difference, you see. It's wasteful spending because it's not logical. Spending that extra money isn't making anybody's life better, but it's just like throwing money in the trash. It's a waste. You see? So now that we understand that not all unnecessary spending is wasteful spending, let's move to the second step. Step two, identify your wasteful spending habits. So now that we've discussed that not all unnecessary spending is wasteful spending, let's talk about the reasons people do wasteful spending. Now there are many reasons, and some of the common reasons are status, impulse, convenience, laziness, lack of patience, not doing research, the thrill of the purchase, or being weak to marketing strategies. But if you summarize all these into one, the main reason people waste money is unintentional spending habits. People waste so much money because they're unaware of their own habits. They're so accustomed to these habits that they can't even see that they're so wasteful. And that's because we're often more aware of other people's habits than our own. It's so easy to judge and point out other people's wasteful spending habits. And that's because we see it from a third person perspective. So in order to understand your own wasteful spending habits, you must see yourself from this third person perspective. And in order to do that, you must track all your expenses. You must write down for one month every purchase you make so you could see what your wasteful spending habits are. In many moons ago, I made a video on how to do that. I'll put it up here somewhere. That's, that's the ceiling. Oh wait, you guys see something different. But once you understand 
where your money is going, you're viewing yourself in third person. You're seeing your negative, your wasteful spending habits, and you're identifying your wasteful spending habits, and you're becoming aware of your unintentional habits. You start to recognize areas in your life where you're just wasting so much money and just being conscious of those habits. And as I said before, some of the common reasons that people waste money is for status, impulse, convenience, laziness, lack of patience, not doing research, the thrill of the purchase, or your weak to marketing strategies. And when you start to identify your own wasteful spending habits, we can move on to the third step. Step three, start changing your habits. One blessing, and at the same time a curse, is that I learned about wasteful spending at a very young age. So cutting out wasteful spending and having good financial habits is just very natural to me. But for most people, it will be extremely difficult. It takes an extreme amount of effort and intention to cut out all this wasteful spending in your life. You have to become conscious of your spending habits. And I think one of the best ways to become conscious of your spending habits is start paying everything in cash. It's a lot easier to recognize your negative wasteful spending habits when you're spending money in cash over card. Because when you physically hand over money, it takes a little more effort. You physically see the money departing and you are aware that you are spending money. Whereas when you pay with everything on card, you just swipe it and you don't even realize you're spending money. And because you identified some of your wasteful spending habits in the previous step, you can now start to notice when you do those wasteful spending habits. You can be more intentional when you're spending money and recognize when something might be a waste. And to do that, it's important to ask yourself before any purchase, why am I buying this? And if it's because status, impulse, convenience, lack of patience, laziness, or any of the other reasons, it's wasteful spending. And it's wasteful spending because it's not bringing any value in your life. And so you must cut it out. You must be intentional and recognize these wasteful spending habits and just begin to ask yourself this question for every single purchase that you make. And it is very difficult and it will take a long time to change these habits. But once you start to recognize these habits, things become easier. Your wasteful habits will be replaced by good intentional habits. It eventually just becomes a second nature. You just look at other people when they do some wasteful spending and you just think it is so bizarre. And next thing you know, you have started your YouTube channel and you are preaching to the world to everybody else how to do it. And once you become intentional about spending money and you recognize your wasteful spending habits and cut them out in your life, you can now and we can move on to the fun part. Step four. Decide what's important to you. When I was 16 years old and I discovered this concept of wasteful spending, I realized that if I lived my life without waste, I would have a lot more money to do the things that I wanted to do. When I made decisions like stop going to the drive-thru, stop impulse buying, or not seek convenience, over time, these decisions add up to hundreds, then thousands of dollars. When you live a life without wasteful spending, you start to have more options. Doors start to open because you have more money to do what you want to do in a life. And I think that once you get to this point, it's important to ask yourself the questions. What do I want to do? How can I use this money to enrich my life? And I am not one of those finance bros that preach about not getting that $4 cup of coffee and instead investing that money in a Roth IRA while in the meantime going out and buying a mansion and a bunch of sports cars and maybe even an aquarium. Does anybody find it ironic when somebody says those things? But anyways, wasteful spending to me is about not spending money on things that don't bring me any value and using that money to bring more things in my life that do bring value. And that starts with just understanding what is important to you. And for me, the important things are experiences like going to concerts, visiting friends and family, or traveling the world, and having peace of mind of being financially secure and maintaining what I have. 
I don't need to go to a concert or I don't need to travel the world, but I think it's important. I don't think it's wasteful spending because it's bringing value in my life. And I ultimately believe that is what money should be spent on, on things that bring value to your life. And when you know what is important to you, we can move on to the final step. Step five, start using your money to enrich your life. This concept of not wasting money changed my life, just like the YMCA changed the village people's lives because it's fun to stay at the YMCA. But it has enriched my life in so many ways. It's allowed me to do things that I couldn't have done if I lived a wasteful life. Like I've traveled to over 35 countries. I've lived in many different places and I've never allowed fear to hold me back from trying something new. And the ironic thing about wasteful spending is that it doesn't make your life better because it provides no value. It's simply waste. There's no point to it. It's just irrational spending that doesn't bring any value in your life. However, when you cut out the wasteful spending in your life, you have more money. And so you can use that money in meaningful ways to enrich your life. You can focus on the things that you actually wanna do because you've cut out the wasteful spending in your life. You have more money and you've identified what is important to you. And so you can start using that money to enrich your life, to make your life better. And I think that if you live with a little bit more intention and cut out this wasteful spending in your life, your life will change just like the YMCA has changed the village people's lives. And with that, muchas gracias, que tengo un buen día, video 105, nos vemos chicos.